Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Minzy. Here on my channel, we talk a lot about fragrances. I love sharing and connecting with you guys through my olfactive journey or just by anything that I truly enjoy. If that's something you enjoy watching, please consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any of my video in the future. All right guys, this is the second video I've done for the day. And like I said in my last video, I did not feel the best. So <laughs> I'm just gonna keep the same outfit to film this video. But aside from that, in this video today, I am going to do another full in-depth review for you guys. And it is for the fragrance Pavilion from Andrea Mack. Now, I actually have this fragrance since November last year, but I haven't really done any review on this fragrance. And I really think it deserves a full in-depth review video for itself because, spoiler alert, I really, really love this fragrance and it's actually replaced another fragrance in my collection. I think I will declutter the other one because now I already have Pavilion from Andrea Mac and I absolutely loved it. Um, I will let you guys know what fragrance in my collection that I will eventually declutter. But let me give you the general information of Pavilion from Andrea Mac before I will review this fragrance. So main of course, we have Rose Vanilla Sweet Oud floral, warm, spicy, powdery, amber, honey, and patchouli. It was launched in 2022 and the perfumer of this fragrance is Julian Raskinet. Top notes, we have honey, praline, and saffron. Middle notes of rose and patchouli. And base notes, we have vanilla, agawood, which is oud, and then amber. So this is a very classic rose oud patchouli combination. There's a lot of fragrances out there that in the same genre. And to be honest with you guys, I was kind of tired of this genre in general until I try Pavilion from Andrea Mac. So let's talk about the opening first. So in the opening, I get a soft, sweet, gooey, and dripping honey notes accompanied with a very beautiful and inviting notes of praline. In general, I don't really care for honey because honey a lot of time can pull very animalic and I don't really like that side of honey. But the honey in here is actually very soft and pretty. And like I said, it's a dripping honey. It smells like the actual honey that we use for food and drink. Now, beside from the honey and the praline in here, I also get a note of saffron. Now, if you are not familiar with saffron, saffron is a note that gives off an earthiness, leather, spiciness, and also reminiscent of honey, which made saffron is a note that goes so well with the honey that is already in here. And the spicy aspect of the saffron really create some boldness to the opening of this fragrance. So oud is listed in the base notes of this fragrance, but right from the opening of Pavilion, I can detect the oud in here. And usually oud gives off like a bleachy vibe. I would say I get a hint of that bleachy vibe in here, but it's very, very soft. It's a very soft, refined, and luxurious oud. 
This is my favorite kind of oud because it gives off a very opulent vibe to the fragrance. Now, in the middle of this fragrance, I get a full-on rose patchouli combo, the classic rose patchouli combo that I come across in a lot of fragrances. And what I appreciate is the patchouli in here is not the medicinal kind of patchouli. I get a gorgeous, sweet, jammy rose with a deep, rich, earthy patchouli accompanied by a cozy, comforting, enticing notes of vanilla on top of a rich, dark, woody base of oud and a warm amber. The whole experience is very thick and dense and so smooth at the same time. What I love is I smell the praline in the background the whole time to support other notes and create this smooth and inviting feeling. It really feels like a soft touch of a cashmere sweater on your skin. It really comes alive on your skin. You have to wear it on your skin to get the full experience of Pavilion. As I remember from the interview with Andrea Mack, this fragrance is actually inspired by Sharon Stone from Basic Instinct and that is such a classic movie and I can totally see that image of Sharon Stone because this is a fragrance for femme fatale. It's very dark, very mysterious and sexy and it's totally have that confidence woman vibe in here. A little bit dangerous too. What about the performance of this fragrance? I would say this fragrance lasts forever on my skin. It's 10 out of 10 when it comes to longevity. It lasts on my skin all day when I wore it to work and of course it lasts on my clothes forever. I have to wash my clothes to get rid of the smell. And I, when I spray this on myself and on my clothes, it fill the whole room like it's filled the entire living room when I spray this fragrance that's how powerful it is people will definitely smell you it projects far away that's one thing it's still not be small but it does project far away and it leaves a beautiful central it's powerful but soft at the same time. Like Sharon Stone, you know? She's beautiful, she's confident, she's strong, she's dangerous, but she still has that softness as a woman. That is also the vibe of this fragrance. One word to describe this fragrance is Sharon Stone. If you want to channel that dark, mysterious, dangerous, confident woman like Sharon Stone, then try out Pavilion from Andrea Mack. I would definitely wear Pavilion from Andrea Mack for a date night, going out in my sexiest outfit. I want to wear a black dress or even like a white bodycon dress like Sharon Stone in the movie, high heels on, hair down, maybe a leather jacket or a fur jacket would be nice too. Again, if you want to channel that beautiful, confident, dark, sexy, femme fatale character in you, try this fragrance, wear this fragrance. I really highly recommend you guys try out this fragrance for yourself and you understand what I'm talking about. Now, let me tell you what fragrance this one replaced. It is Shagab Oud from Squid Arabian. And you know how much I love this fragrance, right? I have this fragrance together with Oud Bouquet from Lancome and I declutter Oud Bouquet because I prefer this one. It's also a Rose Oud Combo, the classic Rose Oud Combo in my collections. I love it so much because it's not only beautiful, but it's also very powerful. But I have to say, Pavilion have my heart now. 
This one is so much more refined, smoother, and just, it's just more captivating in my opinion. It's intoxicating. Yeah. This one in the opening, I would say the alcohol part lasts pretty long, but for the price that I pay, I don't mind that. It will go away eventually. But in general, the, the experience, it's just not as refined, not as smooth like the, like the way Pavilion is. So yeah, if I have to pick between the two, Pavilion is what I pick. So eventually I will declutter Shagap Oud because now I already have Pavilion. I don't see any reason why I keep both in my collection. If you love that classic rose oud patchouli combo, you have to try out Pavilion. Mm, it's so good. It's feel finish. Whereas Shagap Oud to me, I feel like it's still missing some elements. This one feel more rounded, more finished. Absolutely, absolutely love this fragrance. I have been rocking this one nonstop, guys. Yeah, this is, I think this is my favorite from Andrea Mack. Even though I love a lot of her fragrances, this one is by far my favorite from the house. By the way, guys, this perfume and the entire line of Andrea Mack are available at ZGO Perfumery. And I have a discount code with ZGO Perfumery. It is Minzy10. So if you would like to try out the brand, if you would like to try out this fragrance, you can get a 10% off of your purchase from using my code at ZGO Perfumery. Again, Minzy10 for 10% off. All right, guys, that is the end of my video today. I hope you guys enjoy my full in-depth review of Pavilion from the house of Andrea Mack. Please let me know down below what you guys think of this fragrance, if you guys own this fragrance, and what is your favorite rose oud combo in your collection. Thank you again for watching my video, and until next time, goodbye.